What happens when a farmer's daughter gets mixed up with evil? Stay tuned as Liz and Lucille put on a play that'll knock your socks off. You know, the great thing about Terrarium is that you never know what's going to happen next. That's what Liz and Lucille are about to find out. Right now, they and Grandpa Anoli are standing next to an old barn that sits on property next to Grandpa Anoli's farm. Let's listen in. I didn't even know this place was here. I know, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Why not, Grandpa? It's not dangerous or anything, is it? Oh. I mean, it won't fall down on us, will it? No, no. The structure of the place is okay, but uh, it has a pretty unsavory past. Unsavory? Mm -hmm. We're not going to eat it. It means disagreeable, Liz. Right, oh. right. This place was a hideout for outlaws and lawbreakers. Really? And later, a place where moonshine was made and hidden. Oh, cool. There was even a rumor that a murder was committed here. <gasps> murder? Mm -hmm. Cool! No, not cool. Oh. This barn has had a bad reputation for years, which is why it's abandoned and forgotten, I guess. And why I'm going to tear it down. They turned around, and there stood Jerry Sidler, a local businessman and the owner of the barn. But, but why, Mr. Sidler? This barn has been on my land and in my family for years. Given the building's history, it's really not good for anything anymore. Too far off the beaten path and too notorious. I'm not a farmer, so I don't need it. Better to tear it down now before it becomes a safety hazard. Oh, don't do it, Mr. Siddler, please. Uh, Liz? Oh, please, just hold off for a while. Uh, why? I have an idea about how this place can be used. Oh, uh, I don't know, Liz. Oh, please, Mr. Siddler, just give me a chance to prove it. Well, what do you have in mind? Come back in two weeks and you'll see. <laughs> you might as well do it, Jerry. Once Liz sets his mind on something, there's no talking him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Liz. I'll be back in two weeks. Thanks, Mr. Siddler. Liz, what are you going to do? Yeah, what uh, what idea are you talking about? We're going to put on a show in the old barn. A show? He's been watching way too many old movies. <laughs> I'll say. Two weeks later, Lucille escorted Jerry to his seat in the barn. There you are, Mr. Siddler. Well, the place certainly looks good. You all cleaned it up nicely. Thank you. Uh, Lucille, just what is going on here? Oh, you'll see. Enjoy the show. Show? Suddenly, the lights went down and a piano plinked out a fanfare. Good evening. For your evening's entertainment, the old barn players are proud to present a wonderful tale of redemption filled with laughter, sorrow, and maybe even a few tears. The wonderful melodrama titled Everything Old is New Again. Once upon a time in the land of yore, there lived an elderly landowner named O. McRonald. Eli O. McRonald, to be precise. Now, O. McRonald had a farm. Eli, Eli O. And on this farm, he had a daughter. Hello, Pa. Hi, Priscilla. Priscilla was a good daughter. The best. And she obeyed her father. Good girl. For the most part. Uh, for the most part? Wait a minute, narrator. You're getting me in trouble here, and I haven't done anything. Well, not yet, but you will. You see, Priscilla also had a stubborn streak and was very strong-willed. Two qualities that got her into a lot of trouble, as we'll soon see. I don't believe this. I'm off stage 30 seconds, and I'm a criminal. Our tale starts in the most wonderful time of the year. Groundhog Day. No. Arbor Day? No. Labor Day, Memorial Day, Mother's Day, Dennis Day, Doris Day, Night and Day. Are you through? Yeah. I was talking about Christmas. Oh, <laughs> why didn't you say so? That is the most wonderful time of the year. Well, I'm so glad you agree. Now, on this particular Christmas, Eli, who in addition to being a farmer was also an inventor of sorts, gave his daughter a very special present. That's right, Priscilla. All for you. Oh, thank you, Pa. Mm -hmm. Secure original nutrient. That's the ticket. What is it? A formula. Hmm. A very special formula. It's my most prized possession. What does it do? Well, it, uh, it, it it's kind of hard to explain. Hmm. and I'm not sure you'd understand if I explained it. Hmm. At least right now. 
Right now? What's so special about right now? I, I, I can't really explain that either. But you just have to trust me when I say that one day, you too will see how very valuable it is. Oh, um, well, thanks. Now, now, what's wrong? Well, nothing. It's just that. Just that what? The formula's nice and all, but I was hoping for something a little more... Uh, expensive. Fun. I'm sorry, Father. Forgive me for being so ungrateful. <laughs> I understand. Uh, that's why I have another gift for you as uh, well. Mm -hmm. I'm going on a trip. Well, that's not a very nice gift. Well, not only that, but I'll be gone until uh, next Christmas. Well, that's an even worse gift. Uh, there's more. I'm not taking you with me. Do you even understand the meaning of the word gift? I'm not taking you because I'm leaving you in charge of the farm. I mean, this is the... W what? You heard me. You'll be in charge of the whole thing, stem to stern, front to back, up and down, side to side. You'll make all the decisions and control the whole shebang. Is that a gift more to your liking? Well, yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Thank you, Pa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Boy, there's just no pleasing you, is there? And so it was that right after the new year... Yay. Eli packed up and gave Priscilla last-minute instructions on running the farm properly. Uh, be sure and give everything plenty of water. I will, Pa. And be sure to harvest at the right time. I will, Pa. And another thing. Pa, will you stop? Uh, just one last thing. It's very important. There's a salesman comes around here every so often. I want you to make sure you never get anything from him. Got it. Lots of water, right harvest, no salesman. I have everything under control. Are you sure? Don't worry. You'll see. By the time you get back next Christmas, I'll have a great present for you. This farm will really be producing fruit. Uh, that's what has me worried. It's a vegetable farm. You know what I meant. It'll really be producing. I hope so, my dear. I truly do. Three months passed, and the farm was doing well. But I think it could be doing a lot better. Priscilla used all of the horticultural methods at her disposal. Location, cultivation, fertilization, liquidation, and anticipation. And they did help. But I still think the farm could be producing even more. Then one day, Priscilla was out in left field, her usual location, I might add, when suddenly a man popped up from behind a pile of hay bales. Good reading. Oh, you scared me. A thousand pardons, miss. Priscilla? Priscilla? Well, paint me red all over and send me to a four-alarm fire, sirens blazing, Eli O. McRonald's daughter. And you are? Siffer. Lou Siffer. And you are the very young woman I've been looking for. Is that so? Yes, indeedy. You see, word is that you would look at to make your land the best producing farm in the state. True? True. Well, Miss Priscilla O. McRonald, daughter of farmer Eli... Today is your lucky day. It is? Yes, indeedy, because I have right here in my coat the very thing that can make your dream come true. A bag? Thanks, I have plenty. It's not the bag, little lady, but what's in the bag that will cause you to dance the Macarena of Joy. You see, this little bag contains a wonderful new additive that will improve your soil. It does? Yes, indeedy. It is the very latest and modern agricultural science. It's called synthetic inverse nutrient. And I want to make this sample available to you. Sample? No worries. I have lots more in my wagon. Wagon? My sales wagon. <gasps> you, you're the salesman. Yes, indeedy. Lucifer, traveling salesman. Oceans of notions, potions, lotions for your reels, chills, spills, and thrills. At your service. Off my property. Pardon? My father warned me about you. Off my property right now. But, my dear, I'm just trying to help you. I'm doing all right on my own, thank you. Really? Yes, really. Don't you believe me? Sure, if you say so. Well, you don't even have to take my word for it. I'll let my vegetables do the talking. She showed him a basket of large tomatoes and cucumbers. Just take a gander of these babies. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad. I suppose your synthetic inverse nutrient could do better. As a matter of fact, it can. Uh-huh. Like you said, you don't have to take my word for it. I'll let my vegetables do the talking. He uncovered his wagon, and a huge cucumber and tomato started dancing around and singing. She's the tomato. He's the cucumber. But that's just fickle to you. <laughs> we sing it dance. Oh, ain't it so grand? How, How we bake a pear. 
So, can your tomatoes and cucumbers do that? No, they can't. They can if you use synthetic inverse nutrient. Uh, I don't know. Just try some. This bag contains enough for one month, and it's yours free of charge. Well, I guess there's no harm if it's free. And it will make your farm the best producer around. But my father... Look, look, I don't want to pressure you. I'll just leave the free sample with you and you can use it if you want to. But <laughs> I guarantee it'll change your life. <laughs> Priscilla didn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Then, things really took a turn for the worse. They did? Yes. Before she knew it, the wolves were at the door. Who are you? We're the wolves. Harry and Myrna Wolf from Great Neck. We really want some of them great vegetables we've been hearing about. Vegetables? You know, the ones that sing and dance. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I don't have any of those vegetables. Oh. But I have all the great tasting vegetables for you. See? Oh, we don't want any plain vegetables. Sorry, honey. No deal. Priscilla was not happy that she lost that sale. I'm not happy that I lost that sale. She looked at the synthetic inverse nutrient. It can't be that bad, can it? After all, I've seen the results. Slowly, she picked up the bag and sprinkled it on her plants. The sky grew dark. The ground shook. Ominous and really spooky music was heard. And a change came over Priscilla as well. Whoa! And just then, Lou slithered back up to her. How were you feeling? Um... I'm glad I used that nutrient. Now I'll show my father I can handle things on my own. This farm will be the talk of the state. <laughs> yes, indeedy. <laughs> did, did we, we do, do all right, right, boss? You did fine, my little wolves. Here's your reward. Thank, Thank you. you. It's just a matter of time now. Before long, this whole farm, including the farmer's daughter, will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. When last we left Priscilla O. McRonald, she had just sprinkled some of Lou Siffer's synthetic inverse nutrient on her vegetables, despite her father Eli's warning that she not have any dealings with Lou. Priscilla saw amazing results from the synthetic inverse nutrient. Her vegetables were singing and dancing like Radio City Rockettes. She's the tomato. He's the cucumber. But that's just pickle to you. <laughs> we sing and dance. Oh, it For is about so three great. months. Then suddenly, the plant started dying. Priscilla was panicked. I'm panicked. What's going on? And who should show up to answer that question but... Trouble? Oh, Lou, what's going on with my vegetables? Why, it's simple, my dear. You need more synthetic inverse nutrients. Well, then give me more. Give? I'm afraid I can't give you any more, but I'll gladly sell you some. Sell? Yes, indeedy. You know, when you exchange money uh, for merchandise? I know what it means. Of course, if you'd rather not. No, no, all right. I, I'll get you money. Priscilla bought a much larger bag and immediately sprinkled it on her crops. She's and sure enough, they started thriving again. But that's just pickle to you. <laughs> but this time, for about three weeks. Oh, it is so then they shriveled like a grasshopper on a hot griddle. Priscilla immediately summoned Lou. Lou! Oh, Lou! You summoned? It happened again. You need more nutrient. Oh, but money is tight, and I, I haven't sold as many vegetables as I thought I would. Hmm, why? Because people just like looking at them and not buying them. Well, I sympathize, but business is business. Of course, if you don't have the money, you can always get some nutrient on credit. I have never operated on credit in my life, and I'm not about to start now. I'll just have to go back to the way things were before I started using the nutrient. Suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 
But try though she might, she soon discovered that she couldn't go back. Nothing would grow on her farm without the nutrient. It's as though the soil itself is dead. Desperate times called for desperate measures. And boy, am I desperate. Priscilla gathered up her family's treasured heirlooms and offered them in trade for some nutrient. Lou gladly accepted. Yes, indeedy. And here's your nutrient. Before long, Priscilla ran out of possessions. No more. But she was now so far gone, she felt she had no choice. <sighs> no choice. She went to Lou. No good. I beg your pardon? All right. Give me some nutrient. On credit. Yes, indeedy, my dear. Just slide your credit card here. It was now just a few weeks before Christmas. Priscilla knew her father would be returning soon. And the farm was a mess. Worse than a mess. It, it's in shambles. A mess in shambles. A uh, mambles. The only way I can prove that I'm not a failure is by using more synthetic and first nutrient. But this time, when she went to Lou, a nasty surprise awaited her. Who are you? I'm Nasty Surprise, your credit counselor. Credit counselor? Yes, indeedy. I asked Nasty here because it's time to settle accounts. You have a very large credit bill you need to pay off, young lady. How big? That's pretty big, all right. I, I, I can't pay this. Oh, that's too bad. Well, if you can't pay, I have no choice but to take possession of the only thing you have left. The farm. No, you can't! Oh, but I can. Sheriff says so, don't you, Sheriff? I sure do! Oh, please, please, Lou! Just give me a little more time! Uh, I don't know. Oh, please! Uh, I'm such a softy. Tell you what. In light of the season and my magnanimous humbleness, my humble generosity, and my generous magnanimity, I'll give you until Christmas Eve to pay what you owe. Otherwise, I'm going to have one great present. <laughs> yes, indeedy. Priscilla returned home. She didn't know what to do. I'm at my wit's end. Which for her was a very short trip. What do you mean? See? Suddenly, in the midst of her despair, she had a revelation. Secure original nutrient, of course. She took out the formula and saw that she had just enough ingredients to make up a big batch. So she made it up, sprinkled it over her vegetables, and waited. Come on, little vegetables. And waited. I know you can do it. And waited. One little song, just for me. But nothing happened. Nothing? Nothing. Priscilla was heartbroken. Heartbroken, my Aunt Fanny, I'm mad. That formula doesn't work. I can't believe Father said it was most prized possession. How could he have betrayed me like this in all Christmas Eve? She knocked over the container that held the formula and out dropped a folded piece of paper. What's this? I didn't see it before. It was a letter. It's a letter? From her father. From my father. She picked it up, unfolded it, and read it. My darling daughter, if you're reading this, it means things are desperate, and you've used the secure original nutrient. Father good it did. Though I'm sad that you had to use it, I'm glad it's there to protect you. That's why I gave it to you. I tried it on the crops, and it didn't work. You probably tried it on the crops, and it didn't work. But there's a very good reason for that. Secure original nutrient isn't meant for the crops. It's meant for you. Me? Yes, you. You must take it yourself. Oh, please. I can't accept any of this. It's all just a bunch of hooey and malarkey. It's hulaki. She stuffed the letter into her pocket. Then, right on schedule. Knockity knock. Oh, please, Lou. Please don't take the farm away from me, please. Sorry. Can't help you, sweetheart. You really should have been more careful and insightful. Now you've lost your money, your heirlooms, your possession, the farm, and most probably your relationship with your father. You have nothing. You are nothing. <laughs> Priscilla was at her lowest point, and it was then that she received her greatest help. 
help that had been right in front of her all along. The batch of secure original nutrients she had made up. Of course. Priscilla pulled the letter from her pocket and then slowly lifted a cup of the secure original nutrient to her lips and drank. And she changed again. I've been so foolish. Father, forgive me. Please forgive me. I've already told you I can't forgive you. However, you know I'm very fond of you. I would be willing to let you stay on the farm as my wife. Lou chased Priscilla around the kitchen table for a few seconds. Then Priscilla picked up the container of secure original nutrient and threw it on Lou. Yeah, what was that? Just some secure original nutrient. No, no, not that. I, I can't take that. Oh. Lou ran off. I'm melting. Melting? Melting. And finally, melted yes. completely away. Yes, indeed. Priscilla was confused. Really confused. Confused and baffled. I'm confaffled. That's quite understandable, my dear. Father! Oh, Father! What in the world happened? Well, Lucifer was evil. And no evil can stand up to the secure original nutrient, or the S-O-N, the sun. Oh, Father, can you ever forgive me? <laughs> of course I can, and do, thanks to the sun. You know, if everyone knew about the sun, it would change the world. You're absolutely right, my love. You're absolutely right. Bravo! Bravo! So you liked it, Mr. Siddler? Oh, I loved it, Liz. Oh, it was wonderful. Great. Especially the part about evil not standing up to the sun. You know, the sun does something else, too. He can take anything that's messed up, whether it's a person's heart, a rundown farm, or an old barn, and make it like new again. It's called redemption, Mr. Siddler. Yeah. And it's what we hope you'll let us do with this old barn. It may have had a bad past, but we want to make it like new. Mm -hmm. Turn it from its old evil use to a use for good, like a clubhouse or headquarters for us kids. And we could do more plays here and other nice projects and you have a cool place to hang out. Yeah. We promise to make good things come of it. So what do you say, Mr. Siddler? Is it a deal? Hmm. Maybe this old barn can be redeemed. Okay, kids, you've got yourself a deal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> you know, Liz, I think you're in for a lot of adventures here. <laughs> I think you're right, Grandpa. I think you might be right. <laughs> I agree with Grandpa. I think Liz and the gang are in for some amazing times in that old barn. And I also think that Liz and Lucille have the absolutely right idea about redeeming something that was bad or seemingly useless and turning it into something good and useful. Just like Jesus' work on the cross did for each one of us.